Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 14, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this is an episode that I previously mentioned. I didn't think the synopsis was all that interesting. It's to do with an alien protest, and that's all it really teased. But I really like this trailer. I am very much so looking forward to this episode now. We're going to be breaking it down shot by shot for you guys. Sorry it's a bit late. I actually totally forgot that they dropped the trailer and I didn't make a video on it. I was just so consumed by, you know, Arrow's ending yesterday and then The Flash actually had a new episode. It finally came back. So I'm sorry for that. But now we're finally getting around to it. So this is how we're going to do it shot by shot. And let's go straight to the first shot. So the first shot is of the of the elite, sorry. And we have Menagerie, The Hat, and Manchester Black all teaming up once again. So it's kind of interesting that they've actually kept them around for a while because I wasn't expecting them to be in, you know, more than one or two episodes because I believe this is the third episode of Menagerie. Obviously, Manchester's been here the whole time. I really do like them. Like I said last episode, I find the Hat's accent really, really bad and frustrating, but I really like Menagerie and especially Manchester, so it makes up for it. So I think the Elite are pretty good right now. And so we move on, and the next shot is of Hayley and Lena, because Lena's now moved into the DEO because she's working on her experiment for the government, and so that's why she's in the DEO. I guess it's just a way to kind of get Lena into the story more so than just coming in every now and again. Now she's going to be in Alex's office. She's here for most of the rest of the season, I'm guessing, until probably Red Daughter comes around. Then that's going to be like when Lena's most needed because that is essentially what her experiment is doing in some way or another. And so let's move on. And so in the dialogue, actually, in that same scene, Haley says there is a civil war brewing and then she says pro alien marches have been organized so this is going to be a big part of this episode like I said these marches these protests they are peaceful protests they're not like violent or anything so they are doing it peacefully and Supergo and co are going to be marching along and protecting the protests from the children of liberty and so on and so like she said there is a civil war brewing and you sort of felt that throughout this whole season, so it's finally coming to a hold. And I think by the time Red Daughter comes around in a few episodes time, when we get that massive episode, I think most of this stuff is sort of going to be going into the background because I think right now it feels like a climax for the first part of the season, especially in this episode. So the next shot is again in that protest, like the signs say, no deportations, no nations not the enemy and so on and you see Supergirl and this is really interesting she is in that same robe that Kryptonian robe that she wore in the Argo City episode so that excited me so much seeing this I sort of just freaked out for a minute I had to sort of step back and be like are we on Argo City what but no she's kept this robe she's back on earth obviously with this robe she's took it back and so I think the reason why she's got this robe on is just symbolic for Krypton and where she came from. So she's not wearing human clothes because she's representing the people who actually are being sing singled out and are aliens. And she's an alien, so she's wearing her native clothing. So that makes 100% sense. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I just love this robe. Again, very Star Wars-like, like I said last season. And it just sort of brings up happy memories from last season and so in that same shot Jean is there and Brainy is there among the protesting crowd and so we go to a wide shot and you see some of the anti-alien people you know punching their fists in the air being like screw you and so on and we see Supergirl actually is not there anymore so I'm presuming she's flown off maybe something has happened but Jean and and Brainy are actually still at the front of this relatively big protest seems like there's quite a lot of people there so that's very interesting to see that there is actually quite a lot of them compared to the anti-alien people but I believe the anti-alien you know protesters on the outside are just multiple compared to the ones that are going to be scattered around and I think that's what we're going to see in this episode so 
as Haley says, we don't see another shot of Haley, but Haley says this whole event could turn into a powder cake. So she's talking about the protests, and I think the powder cake reference is a very American thing because I have no idea what a powder cake is. But I get the reference. It's like this whole thing can turn into an absolute mess of a situation and that is why we have Alex doing something that she's not very happy about doing in this episode but also we have these heroes, our heroes, actually protecting the rally, sort of patrolling so it could go crazy but they're going to try and contain it and so the next shot we see Nia in the march, she's just sort of walking and patrolling around and then we go over to Ben Lockwood and Ben is again he's doing a press conference I believe or it could be just a talk but it seems like it's a press conference and he says let's take this planet back so he's calling out to his his followers and now he's got this appointed role that he's been deputized in this really high status position he is going to be at odds with a lot more people and now Alex in this episode most likely is going to have to protect Ben Lockwood which goes against all of her beliefs so she's going to be very frustrated that Haley makes her do that but we'll go over a few of the photos they've released later and so the next shot we see again the protests one sign says aliens are not the enemy and you have the Statue of Liberty and so on so it seems like there is a lot of people protesting and the next shot is of James and he's in that press conference you see the one of the children of liberty here and i believe this is actually where alex is in this next shot and so it's the department of alien affairs which i don't think we've ever seen before but now ben lockwood is the head of it alex is going to be tasked to look after him because of the protests those those pro alien protests that you saw earlier in the trailer so i find that very interesting and i bet you that's just Haley digging at alex making him making her do that and so Moving on to the next shot, we see the Elite and Menagerie's checking her watch or something and Manchester's got his gun out so they're about to do something very bad but against the anti-alien people. So I guess you, I guess it's sort of like a line between are they crossing it? Well they are obviously crossing the line because they're killing people which is terrible but they're killing the people that are killing the aliens so I don't know, vice versa. And so the next shot is my favourite shot. We see Kara again in her Kryptonian robes as she's presumably in that same press conference as James is. And maybe this is where she shot off to. But she's here and she says, oh no. And we move on to the next shot. She's still in the, her robes and you see kind of chaos. There's a children of there is a children of liberty person in the background we see jean nia and brainy all there as they look up into the air so it seems like the protest has actually gone violent and that is represented in the next shot with one of the children of liberty and a few of them actually beating up some people and i'm guessing these people are pro alien protesters and so we see manchester black as he punches his arm into the air and he says find the nearest alien hater and kill them so I'm guessing there is a whole load of people down there like a crowd of people looking upon them and he's speaking to them and so the hat is holding this gun and the following shot after that is of some sort of spark and it looks like he's actually shot at Ben Lockwood and caused some chaos at this press conference and the guy in the background is kind of significant because as we'll move into the photos now, we know he's going to be appearing in this episode. He is, I believe, his bodyguard or someone working alongside of him. But I think he's not on the bad side. I, th I think he has other motivations. I think he's probably going to be innocent. But we see Supergirl in this first photo. I've only picked out about five or so photos from the whole lot because it's kind of the same lot that we see in this trailer. So Supergirl's looking at that same guy that I talked about and she seems kind of shocked or scared not really scared but kind of confused maybe and we move on to the next shot again that same very similar face as she's looking at the guy that I was talking about prior to this and so you see the aliens are people to sign in the background during the protest and the next photo shows that very same guy right behind Ben Lockwood as you saw in the trailer and 
I think as the aftermath of that gunshot towards Ben Lockwood, you see this photo and the guy's in the background, he's hiding and they're all looking up in the air, Supergirl's looking up, Jean's looking up and so the final thing I want to go over is the fact that in this photo you see Alex is actually sort of confronting Ben Lockwood, they're locking eyes and it seems like she is going to be his bodyguard for this episode and as it was said in the synopsis it goes against all her beliefs so she's going to have a really tough time doing that but she has to do it because she's been ordered to do it so I wonder what time in the season Haley's going to be ousted and you know thrown away and the president's going to get impeached and so on I think it's about time and I think Ben Lockwood is sort of going to go away very soon when we get Red Daughter. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and also turn on notifications to not miss any videos. And I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.